Okay, it was out of time um, um, when I um, explaining um, previous video. So um, again, um, uh, for this layer, you have a table layer. Inside that, you have a table row. Inside this row, if you put two um, views over there, one is a text view, another one is edit text. They will, they will, um, how to say, um, um, have two columns there. Okay, you will have two columns, uh, and and second row, you will have two columns as well. And we're going to uh, let's, let's say. Uh, specify the third component which is the third row okay which is the button i would like to place a button um with the row number two and column number one over here okay that is the button and let's, let's just run this one and see how um how is our um, app form looks like first okay just uh, just just to um have something um to see okay have something to say Okay, let's, let's see over here. Um, okay, the name and the quantity. Okay, name quantity is fine. Okay, name and quantity. Let's just type this one. You cannot type any um, um, text inside it. This must be numbers. Okay, uh, fine. Uh, let's say you'll see the name. Um, fine. Then there is another one I would like to is I prefer to. You know, we prefer to. Uh, let's say expand this column to as large as possible to take all the spaces over here. Okay, so in order to do so, I'm gonna get back to I'm gonna get back to this design and specify for um, the table layer. This one that is uh, another important attribute you should know, which is Android. And this one you're going to um, uh, have the uh, set stretch. Okay, stretch columns. I'm gonna stretch column number one. There are two columns. The first column is for the text view, and then the second column is for the edit text. And I would like to stretch the second column, which is column number one. Because the first column is column number zero. So if you observe over there, there is still some more spaces over here. And I would like to stretch it. So um, run this one. Run this one. Okay. Yeah, now it stretches already. So the form looks like fine now. The form looks like fine now. So I want to change the um, um, form design a little bit with the names, uh, give, giving the name for them to access them. So I'm gonna double click on this one and change this one into txt name enter. Then double click on this one and change this one into txt um, quantity quantity enter. Then I'm gonna double click on this one and change this one into uh, let's say um, 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 add change this one into btn button add. Okay enter. Um, just to make nicer a little bit, I want to change the title of this um, um, activity. Um, so, uh, so um, 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 uh, we need to write some, some, some code there. Okay. So just keep it there first. Keep it there first. So now we have the uh, form ready. So if we click on this ad, we should um, um, have a method in row to really add the database into, uh, uh, sorry, uh, really add the data into the database, okay? So if you go to the, um, 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 we need to get back to our database handler. There are many approaches, okay? You can use this database handler in, in separate Java file, um, um, and that separate Java file will be used in order to specifically working with add, update, delete. Okay, or uh, because in this case I'm um, intending to you work with only one table, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna um, place all the methods here. But for um, your case, probably if you need to work with more tables, you shouldn't um, do all the insert, update, delete of that table here. Then you let uh, you're gonna do the insert, update, delete search of another table inside here. So this file won't be really mess. So again, if you have many files. Uh, many tables better to create a new file for this okay new file for this but in this case we're going to in this case we're going to um, uh, let's, let's see let's, let's see. just to make it clean now we'll create a new one as well so we would like to work with table um, 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 product so you're going to create a new java class which this one is product handler okay product handler so we're going to handle their uh, products table okay products handler so we're gonna um, handle their um, product table uh, and to handle product table in order to avoid typing in order to avoid um, yeah no problem uh, mm, 
no problem. Yeah. In order to um, um, do this one, you need to have a private and database handler. Okay, DB handler. Okay, we need to have a database handler, which is called DB handler. Um, a, we don't think. Uh, we only need to have private, um, <coughs> private, uh, private. Let's uh, see, uh, product handler, product handler. Okay, okay. We we'll need to have, let's say, um, private, private. Just wanna make it simple. Don't be too professionalism. Okay, let's make it private. Um, SQLite database. We need to have an SQLite database. Okay, and whenever we have the constructor, control enter. Uh, constructor will build the new constructor. Um, we don't need to pass in this one. Well, for the database, we'll take this database equal to um, um, new, uh, new, okay, um, um, database handler, database handler. And you need to pass in the context as well. So this one you need to pass in the context. Okay, this one you need to pass in the context. Okay, and this one you have to pass in the context here. Um, okay. This dot db um, incompatible type as client uh, database. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. This one will have the um, database database handler, DB handler, equal to this um, new database object. Great, okay, this new database object. Then we'll have this dot um, um, uh, this dot DB equal to um, this dot DB equal to uh, DB handler dot uh, open. Uh, sorry, dot um, um, get. Uh, you can get readable database and get writable database. Uh, in this time, I'm wasting some resources, so I'm gonna really just get um, a readable, a writable database only. Because if I get writable database, I'm gonna be able to um, read and write as well. Then uh, uh, that one is SQLite database. Then um, there is another one is I would like to um, 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 overwrite methods. Okay, overwrite a method. That method is finalized. Okay, uh, so uh, what did I do is I'm going to do um, control, uh, sorry, control I, um, sorry, control O. Okay, control O. Okay, so if you do control O, it's gonna bring you this dialog and you're gonna select override. So you're going to, um, 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 so again, whenever you create a new object of product handler, you create a new um, SQLite database object here. Okay. And whenever you destroy this object, you should close that object. Uh, you should close that database connection. So you should take db dot close. Okay, db, db dot close. This one is to save resources, because whenever you create a new product handler again, you um uh, connect to the database. It's return your database object. So whenever you finalize, means you destroy that um object for the product handler. You should you should let's say close the database connection. Then. In this case, if you couldn't um, um, close, okay, if you couldn't close, you can try to close. If you couldn't close and you catch an acceptance, uh, which means it's, uh, it's already closed some way, somehow. So um, 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 it shouldn't do anything if it's already closed. Then in order to work with the product, the first method that you, the first method that you work now is some operations there, which is you can add the product. So add a method public void add product and when you add a product you need to have a string name and in quantity. Okay, string name and quantity. String name and quantity. Then um if you would like to add products, okay, if you would like to add product, if you would like to no, no, add product, we need to use the database over the db dot um um um, 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 um inserts, okay. And you're gonna use the insert statements over there. So let me just do the um, control P or command P in my case. In order to insert, you need to specify the table name that you're gonna insert, which is we're gonna insert on table or column. And the next parameter that you need to insert is a null column hack. So if um, um, that column uh, is currently null, what do you insert into the database or the default values? In this case, we'll put null is just null. 
then if you would like to insert i already explained before i already explained before if you would like to insert you need to specify the uh, values of this column the values of this column to insert and in that case you're going to use the class which is called content values inside in, in form of key values key is the column name and values is the value that you would like to insert so you gonna specify this one as their values and that values we need to uh, specify here content values content values content values values equal to um, content values values equal to mm, new content values and the job of this one is to take values dot um, put the key is um, um, the key is the name is the specified name of the um, values dot put the column name is quantity and the values is the quantity that you insert over here quantity okay after this after this okay, after this your product is inserted into the database okay after this your product is inserted into the database okay your product is inserted into the database so get back to our um, add activity so if you click on add you're gonna get the name and the quantity and you don't use that product handler to add it so we're going to go to add activity we're gonna write code we're gonna write code uh, uh, public uh, void um, on button add click view control space uh, select view control space okay uh, this one we're gonna do what we're gonna do is now uh, we're gonna um, uh, on this one on this add um, activity I'm gonna create a um, product handler p product handler equal to new product handler here and uh, passing in the context which is this okay passing the context which is this I have the product handler to handle the products already and from there we can use the product handler okay um, to um, call to the method add product and whenever we add product we need to have the name and the quantity and the name and the quantity are supposed to be taken from this form name and quantity so we need to access to this name with this id and this quantity so we run access to the fields um edit text okay txt name equal to um, um, edit text txt name equal to txt name equal to um, txt name equal to um, uh, um, edit text file name file um, um, view by id r dot id dot txt name okay similarly you're going to duplicate this one you duplicate this one is for txt um, quantity this one is for txt quantity okay and I'm gonna use these two fields later I'm gonna use it two fields later so by now I'm gonna declare this two here okay and I'm gonna declare this one here okay copy and paste it then delete this declaration delete this declaration and I'm gonna use these two fields in many different places places not only when you add so we're gonna cut this one and put it here okay on create methods so uh, this one whenever you create the form you will have access to the txt name and txt quantity directly okay so now we're going to declare name equal to txt name to get to the text of that one and convert into string similarly you're going to um, duplicate this line for um, quantity but it's not a string it's an integer so this one is txt quantity again but it's not a string so uh, you gonna need to convert uh, sorry it's not an integer so you need to convert into integer so use in t integer dot pass int okay integer dot pass int okay you pass int values from there Okay, pass in value from there. And when you have the name, you have the quantity, just just set the name and the quantity. And use the product handler, add the name and quantity that you built from here, product handler. Okay, add name quantity, you're gonna have access to the database. Okay, and you're gonna add it there. And once it is added, once it is added from here, you can toast a message, 
those dots make text. Plus in the context is 